Thinking he's got away with it, this bloke's playing it cool. Yeah, 99 is in heading him now. Civil heading him. Yeah, 85 received, moving out onto the 1017 in the heading in the Yelder. He even has the cheek to stop off and fill up his tank. Yeah, 99 to all units, he's in the garage, the shell garage, civil heading him. What he doesn't know is that the ASU is guiding officers right to him. Yeah, I'll take the exit. You take the exit, Sarah. Zero safe. And he's in for a big surprise. 721, we'll make sure he doesn't run off into the estate and we don't know he's on the road. Yeah, 99 from 20, we're code 32 with one other. Yeah, good result. Much obliged, thank you. The man was charged with dangerous driving but failed to turn up for his trial. He's now listed as wanted and his bike was crushed. Yes, mate, you. Watch out. Right. Is he all right? Yeah. You OK? Yeah, yeah. Right. <laughs> Stuck at some details. The motorcyclist has complained of feeling queasy. He could have internal injuries. You right, Blake? We've got ambulance en route. Just give you a check over, right? Just to make sure you're all right. One, two, three. Stand there. Stand there, convincing. Just updating us to the casual. Have you done that? Uh, Are they? I think I sort of see anyone. Of right. Pulled out. He's obviously. Right. So he's been near enough in front of you when you pulled out. Yeah. It was, it was literally, <laughs> I literally just went bang. That's why. I, I All right, Black. Paramedics check him over in the ambulance. Biggers and Sponge, both keen bikers, soon turn their attention to the bike. Just trying to see if he's done any damage. After a quick examination, medics give the biker the all clear. Let's see what he's doing. Don't you injure yourself now? <laughs> Turns out its queasiness was only the result of crushing his groin on the bike's petrol tank. So how are the crown jewels? All right? Yeah, not too bad. You'll have an interesting dent on your petrol tank, probably. Yeah. He's all right. Yeah, apart from his, uh, his googlies. Travelling at high speed endangers the lives of the motorist and other road users. But police were particularly astonished by the behaviour of a motorcyclist in Yorkshire caught travelling at over 100 miles an hour with a pillion passenger. He dangerously overtakes on cross hatchings and speeds off at an incredible rate. When the police eventually catch up with him again, they've calculated his speed at over 115 miles an hour. Incredibly, the pillion passenger was his young son. The biker was banned for 40 days and fined 250 pounds. But pursuits are strictly regulated, and sometimes these rules prove to be frustrating. On a routine patrol in Reading, Martin York and Jim Dixon spot two youths on a motorbike with no number plate. This is two kids on a motorbike, no helmet. We'll attempt to make one stop, and that'll be it. No helmets. We're going to attempt one stop on the vehicle, and then uh, it'll be a council council lever. Gotcha. Straight across. No, let them go, mate. Let them go. Let them go. Let them go. Yeah, three, five. Um, we've cancelled. They're driving like absolute idiots. Yes, yes, they're now on Blandford Road. Um, they're slowing down, trying to uh, goad us into chasing them. Um, they're off again now at speed. Uh, we've let them go over. If he's driving like an absolute idiot like that, then uh, someone's going to end up dying, unfortunately, and uh, we get the blame for it. So, um, something we don't want. Run off towards the... Uh, Say, I would rather have two alive people than two dead people. With Yorkie and Dixie usually getting their man, it's a frustrating end to their shift. But the next day, they're on patrol in the same area of Reading. We'll have his mate. That's the kids. It was on the, the other day. Yeah. Again, they have to hold back for safety's sake. Thank you, Victor. 3-5. We've come out Central Avenue. They've deliberately waited for us to get close, um, and they're causing members of the public to uh, take emergency action. They're now just sat at the top of um, Christchurch Road with Sintra, um, giving us the bird, etc. 
um, just goading us. He was the lad from yesterday. Yeah, it's him too, definitely. Day three. Yorkie and Dixie are on a surveillance operation when they come across an unusual sight. They've all got green jerry cans. Is there a petrol station up here? Is that who I think it is? Yes, it is. Who is it? It's our three from the bike. Well, 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 your push bikes aren't quite as fast as a motorbike now, are they? You, off, and you, come out. Yeah. And this young man, most certainly. You're under arrest and suspicion of theft of the motor vehicle for stars. A go. Thank you. So are you, my friend. You don't have to say anything, but may harm you. Get off the bike. Questions for later in court. Anything you do so may be given in evidence. Do you understand what I'm saying? The older lad's getting a bit frisky. Come yourself down, mate. No, I'm not at all. You're not carrying on like you're bad. You haven't even done nothing. I'll give you one warning, my friend. Come yourself down, or you'll be face down on the floor. Do I make myself clear? Yes. Yes? Yes? Yes. Good. Yeah, we need um, transport for two, please, uh, preferably the transit. Uh... Finally, after being insulted for two frustrating days, Dixie gets his chance to ask a few questions. Where's your motorbike, then? I've got one. <laughs> Fortunately, my friend. Huh? He's been filming you, and we've got you for the last two days, mate. The footage clearly shows that the two lads are wearing exactly the same clothes. Dixie. The last time I saw you, you were begging for my help because your dad had beaten you up. You can't have it both ways, my friend. You either don't want to know the police or you want to help the police, all right? That was the last time you and I crossed paths, is that you wanted us to help you desperately. Difficult for you to say anything now, isn't it? And all you can do for the last couple of days is give us the runaround, giving us the finger, putting your life in danger, you don't get paid for nothing, do you? Is that your attitude to it, is it? Yeah. We don't get paid for anything, but you want our help when something goes wrong against you, yeah? You're on a slippery spiral down. All right? The third lad's innocent and he's let off. But for the two youths seen on the bike, it's a trip to the nick. It's only ever a matter of time. Patience is a virtue and it's paid off. Get yourself in then. What's Look, your for? Uh, we'll follow you in. He's disqual, theft of motor vehicle, no insurance, no driving licence, etc. etc. These two have been looking at it around Whitley. Him and the other ones are wearing the same clothes. The younger lad was released without charge, but the older kid was already a banned driver and was charged for this dangerous driving and failing to stop. Yeah, he's just going underneath us, stand by. Helicopters are the ideal weapon for pursuing bike thieves. In Middlesbrough, a police chopper is tracking three youths on a stolen bike, trying to get away from a procession of squad cars. Yeah, he's slowed right down, traffic car on your right, dog section or whatever it is, right hand side, he's coming out of the roundabout in front of you. Just missed the vehicle, stand by straight over that road. Across the grass. Stand by. A patrol car tries to block the youth's escape route, but the road's too wide. On the deep door stroke, Woodville. I think he's looking for the abandonment. He keeps looking for us, uh, an area to drop it. Still deep door. Dead end, guys. Somebody going to Fremantle and take a lock on me. They've abandoned it. Traffic to the accident unit. They're running towards you. Three runners. Dog section in Fremantle. They're at the end of the houses in front of you. Keep going, keep going. Where that car is now, we're going to come out there. Ducking behind a car, one rider thinks he's got clean away, but the thermal camera keeps the heat on him. There's one in the front guard just in front of you. Right. This troublesome trio thought that they can outwit a legion of cops, but the eye in the sky is all seeing.